can see or hear anything. Not yet. Give me a sec, Addison. I want to check the news before reporting back to headquarters. Sweet, but I wish we could get a peek inside. Remember that fancy pen I gave her in class? Mm -hmm. Camera pen! <laughs> Sorry, Michaela. The quail wants to brief you on the mission status right now. The quail? That must be like a coning for the evil mastermind she's working for. I want one of those. I want one of those. Who the heck is this girl? Who wants to know? Ah! Spying on me? Please don't hurt us. We were just. Uh, just. Um... Just, uh... Spying on me. Isn't that right, Adrian Adams? Or was it your idea, Bryden Bandwidth? Or yours, Cameron Coyle? She knows us. Of course I do. My organization researches all my new schools before I arrive. They said you're the three smartest girls at Maywood Glen Academy. The three smartest? Not too shabby. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm surprised. A talking notebook? I know it. Let's hope you know enough not to tell anybody what you saw here today. We won't say a word, but please don't hurt us. <laughs> Relax. I'm one of the good guys. Girls. Phew. Oh, gee, she's not going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm here on a highly classified mission. That's all I can say. By the way, cool listening device. Did you make that? Yeah, thanks. I call it my sound catcher. I'm great at making things, bad at naming them. Well, nice work. I'm Michaela McAllister. Whoa, wait, Michaela McAllister. That's MC, MC squared. No way, I'm squared too. B squared, Kim is C squared, Adrian's A squared. We're like a super cute light version of the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Em, we promise not to say a word about any of this. If you let us check out some of that awesome stuff you have in there. <laughs> okay, look, I can see that you guys are really into gadgets and high-tech stuff, but unfortunately, I just can't. Thanks! Thanks. Hey. Did she just... She's physical, I'm chatty. <laughs> Maybe I should just go get her. We stop! Me too! <laughs> the locks of the Maywood Glen Dam, which hold back two trillion gallons of water, have recently been fully automated. We don't even need a staff. Question? Excuse me? Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> Doesn't the dam also hold back sediments which would naturally replenish the downstream ecosystems? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I am. The dam blocks fish migrations. All those little baby fish separated from their mamas? I just know what's on my cards. Uh, let's not forget, dams have plenty of benefits, like water storage, irrigation, and flood control. Yes! In fact, in the event of a major power outage, a propane generator will help keep these locks locked. The dam's control room requires at least 15,000 watts to stay operational, but the dam's backup generator propane tank only has a 500 liter capacity. Meaning we only have four hours before power runs out. The locks disengage. And the spillway's open. Flooding everything in its path. Streets, homes, businesses. The town's power grid will be destroyed. Adios Maywood Glen! Espanol is usually my thing, but it's an emergency, so I'll share. But where are we gonna find another power source for the generator? To what do I owe this pleasure? Ember, we need to borrow your anaerobic digester. With the power out everywhere, we need something to help stop the Maywood Glen Dam, Dam from bursting. bursting. How did you know I was gonna say that? I was on the same filter batch BFF Cameron. And I've still got to burn my side about the ecological uh, ramifications of... Dam bursting. Major emergency here. Sorry. You're right. Maybe we should call the authorities? We only have four hours. That's not enough time to evacuate the whole town. Besides, we don't have any phones or social media to even tell the whole town. We have to do this ourselves. And now. There's just one little hitch in the hole. Giddy up. Please translate farm speak. It's never produced more than 500 watts at a time. Just enough to water my plants. We're gonna need way more than leftover lunch to power up the dam. How much is way more? A whole slop load. Is that a cute southern term meaning a lot? Nope, it's a cute southern term meaning a whole load of slop. Well, we'll 
Well, come on. Three weeks as a secret agent, and I've already experienced a lifetime in trash. Isn't this fun? One person's trash is another's treasure. Remember, you have a very strange idea of fun. Well, keep scooping, ladies. It's chow time. Oh, I've lost my appetite. Not for us, for my methanogens. <laughs> Those little bacteria buggers eat the slop and produce methane. My grandma calls it the thunder down under. Ooh. Now we just need to hook everything up in the damn control room. Hey! You mean darn control room? Even a crisis, a lady is a lady. No, I mean, never mind. All the guards to the central outdoor dam. The guards will be back soon. We have to move. Keep loading, ladies. Time's running out. It's still in the danger zone. We need to turn off all non-essential systems. Work, work. This baby's already outputting gas. With the addition of new compost, you keep the digester kicking out the energy we need. If this works, Ember, your digester deserves to win the tech fair. If it doesn't, it's H2O no. Here's hoping. But hey, your water power car sounds like a real winner too, Cameron. That's it, H2O. Water's made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So when you separate the atoms via electrolysis, you can burn the hydrogen as fuel. The product is water vape, and it releases harmlessly into the environment. And gentle on Mother Earth. Sounds like a plan. Let's continue this little chat when we're not in such a perilous situation. Yes, it's working. Yes, yes, yes. we fixed it. Go on, go on, go on. Save the town. Stop retro. I reckon this has been the coolest day of my life. Wait till I tell everyone at school. Oh, we'll be heroes, famous even. Maybe I can get a new plant gene that's named after me. Embrus ligamenosi. No, we can't tell anyone. No plant names, no nothing. This has to stay a secret. Uh-oh, why? Are we in some kind of trouble? No, it, it's not like that. If we're getting arrested for trespassing, just tell me, I I'm a big girl. Ember, it's... You know what, I can't live with the guilt. I'm gonna turn myself in, maybe I should do the same. <laughs> Remember, you can't. Why not? What's going on here? We're in a club! School project! Concerned citizens! We're going to a puppy party! We've got to get better at that. And yes, I'm aware that I'm the one that said puppy party. Gals, as much as I'd love to attend a puppy party, there's something big here you're not telling me. You're right, and it's a matter of national security. Top secret. Lives could be at stake. We need to keep it silencio. Shh. So what you're saying is we've got ourselves a secret. Exactly. Well, since we're sharing, I've got myself a secret too. Uh, go for it. I'm secretly bad at keeping secrets. Okay. Okay. Then you'll just need to take a solemn oath to never tell a single soul what we did here today. Pinky swear. Okay. I always miss the good stuff. It was more important to get you up and running, back to your old self. Okay, we stayed ahead of Retro this time, but there's little doubt he's gonna keep at it. Agreed. He's just gonna keep amping up the danger and threats until Maywood Glen is destroyed for good. We've gotta find him and stop him. Um, you know how he said there's no bad ideas? Well, this might be the definition of a bad idea. But if we're using it to catch a bad guy, then maybe two wrongs make a right. Or at least close enough to a right to take the risk of being wrong, right? Believe it or not, I think I'm following you. Retro is known for spoofing, concealing his originating IP address through false fronts. The only way to find the source address is to access and analyze the datagram packets in his broadcasts. That would take a boatload of innovate server power. I know. It's crazy risky, but I think it's gonna work. Innovate server power is divided into offensive and defensive systems, right? Yeah, one to go after the bad guys and one to protect our database. Okay, if you can switch Innovate's computers to offense, we might have the power to trace Retro's signal directly to him. What? You mean let down our defenses, making us completely vulnerable? Right. I think you may be onto something. I won't allow it. There is great risk involved in exposing the Innovate server core. Everything in the agency, security, data, undercover aliases, secret identities, could be lost. 
Hundreds of agents around the world could be exposed and put in danger, which would mean the end of Innovate as we know it. I can do it. I just need 60 seconds. If Bryce says she can do it, then she can do it. Look, you've always taught me to weigh the pros and cons of any idea. Fine. Pros? We stop retro. Cons? Everything else. It's just too dangerous. Retro isn't just targeting Maywood Glen anymore. What do you mean? We've been thinking, maybe there's a pattern to everything Retro's done. A method to his look on it. We were trying to find a connection between his target locations, specifically addresses. The school is at 3889 Mayfield Drive, the warehouse is at 77 North Roscoe Boulevard, and the dam is at 77036 West Route 6. Sorry, my brain just does that. But it's not the street names. It's the numbers. Latitude and longitude. Well, that explains the quote. 38.8977 North and 77.0366 West. They're the coordinates for Washington, D.C. La Casa Blanca, the White House. Retro has been playing with us from the very start. He's going after the president? Quail, the clock is ticking. There is no time. We need to get out there. Go get him, girls. A really disgusting idea. Ugh. Guys, it's Lazarus's trash. If we dig through it, we could find some clues. Michaela, I never would have thought of you as the dig through garbage type. Respect. I just wish you had given me a chance to change out of my new heels. They're Mew Mew. At least they were. Look what I found. Who would want to throw these away? I me. would. They're not really my style. Haters. Hey, Cam. Can we use this for a water-powered car? I was kind of hoping that we jumped off that water-powered car cliff. No way. I will take Justin down at the tech fair. Nice find, Adri. Except it's a carburetor. They used to be a big part of internal combustion engines, but have been replaced in the car industry by fuel injectors. You have no idea what she's talking about, do you? No, I just want to go home and take a hot bubbly bath for it. Hey guys, check it out. It's an issue of Cat Fancy Magazine addressed to a Mr. Carson Lazarus. She must get that a lot. Lazarus has a cat. Let's find out. Camera device. What's I like to call it? Cameron's cat camera to follow a cat around the house device. You know, I think I'm learning the drill. Killer with inventions, bad with names. Well, it works. I routed it through the Innovate server so we could all watch it through our tablets. <clears throat> and Addison. Why did you make a cat cam? I was curious what my sister's kitty Helix the cat did while I was at school all day. And there's Lazarus. Who's hungry? Oh, did I tell you guys? My abuela hired a new chef. It's awesome. Now I'll be able to dedicate more time to Cafe Adam's newest signature blended drink. The... Churachino! I was hoping for some applause. Pity applause? Oh no! Michaela, you had your Froyo study session with Kyle! Uh... You know what? We're in the middle of a stakeout, and the clock is ticking on Retro's demand, so I think I'm just gonna cancel. No, you're not. Per the Quail's request, we're under strict orders to help you maintain your social cover as a normal teenager. Okay, but given the circumstances, I think the Quail would agree. B -b 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 no cancellations. You can't flay. You need to blend in, like my Churro Chino. Get it? Blend in? Still nothing? I have no idea what to say to Kyle. I'm good with smart talk, not small talk. You're going to do fine, and I'll be there to help you. You take Addison, and Brian and I will watch the cat cam on our tablet, and we'll let you know if anything exciting happens. 